Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here's Van Amsen and today we have a very interesting uh, coding uh, challenge uh, to solve. We are about to take on an exciting journey through the realm of algorithm and data structure. And the task on our plate today is both intriguing and mind boggling. So find the duplicate number. And this problem is a hot favorite in coding interview and a fantastic exercise to deepen our understanding of array, algorithm, and particularly the trade-offs between time and space complexity. So let's go over a problem statement. Imagine you have an array called nums, uh, comprising of n plus one integer, where each integer lies within the range of one to n. And the challenge is to uh, uh, find the duplicate number in this array. But wait, the plot uh, thickens. So you are not allowed to modify the original array and you are confined to using only constant extra space. So O1. Uh, so are you up for the challenge? So before we embark on this coding uh, adventure, let's sit back and take a a bird eye view of six distinct strategies that we will use to crack this uh, particular problem. So, uh, set hash uh, table approach, uh, also count array approach, uh, making elements in the array, uh, fast slow pointer, also known as uh, Floyd's uh, cycle detection. So this is uh, one of the uh, best approach for this particular task that fill all requirements. Also binary search technique and uh, sorting the array. So now that we have seen a glimpse of our roadmap, let's uh, plunge into uh, each method exploring the logic, time complexity and space complexity involved. So uh, set hash table approach. Uh, so it's the good and the bad. So uh, we will kick off our journey with the set hash table. And here uh, we leverage power of set or hash table to keep uh, a record uh, of uh, elements we have already traversed. And when we stumble upon a duplicate, we simply return it as our answer. And this method is as uh, simple as it gets, but comes with a, a main flow. So it violates the problem constant extra space uh, constraints. So for this uh, approach, time complexity will be ON and space complexity will be ON uh, as well. So still, let's uh, try to implement it. So set, uh, sin will be set and for num in nums, if num in sin, return num and sin at num. So as simple as this, uh, let's run it to verify it's working. So it's a first approach, uh, but unfortunately it violates uh, extra space constraint. So as you can see, uh, it's still bit 94% with respect to runtime, uh, but only 21% uh, with respect to uh, memory. Uh, Okay, so let's uh, reset it. And uh, next, uh, count array approach. So uh, our next stop is the count array approach. And here we create an auxiliary array to record the occurrence of each number. And the first uh, culprit to have a frequency greater than one is our uh, duplicate. And also this uh, violates uh, space uh, complexity constraints. So it's O n time complexity and also uh, linear space. So O n uh, time complexity. So count. So count will be zero times len of nums plus one and for num in in our nums count num plus one and if count num greater than one, 
return num. And also we can return len nums. Okay, so uh, let's see if it's working. So hopefully it will, yeah, all good. But uh, as mentioned previously, it's violate time complexity, but passes, uh, yeah, space complexity. So uh, here uh, it's 80% with respect to memory and 81 with respect to uh, runtime. So really interesting and quite easy uh, approach. Let's reset it. So now approach number yeah, three. three. So a uh, marking element in uh, array. So this one is a bit uh, unconventional. So we will make use of array itself. And as our strategy mechanism, making elements as we uh, traverse, and when we find an element that's already marked, uh, voila, we have found our duplicate. So uh, this approach will have uh, linear time complexity, so ON, and also uh, constant time complexity uh, because we don't create any new uh, memory. So mark approach and for num in nums, index absolute num and if num index less than zero return our index and num index minus num index and return len uh, of num otherwise uh, so uh, and as for constraints all the integer in nums appear only once expect and yeah, so it's follow up a question just how can we prove that at least one duplicate number exists in nums? And can you solve this problem in linear runtime complexity? Uh, so yeah, uh, it could be solved uh, in linear uh, time complexity and also constant uh, space complexity. So let's submit it. And yes, as you can see, we beat 94% with respect to memory, so uh, better than uh, previous uh, approaches. So, yeah, so maybe the difference is negligible, but still, and uh, runtime also beat 74%. Really good. So, let's uh, reset it one more time. And now, uh, I think it's uh, one of the best approach and really proper to tackle this particular uh, problem. So, fast, slow, pointer and uh, it's really elegant solution and uh, we treat our array as linked list and employ Floyd cycle detection algorithm and this uh, ingenious method uh, satisfy all possible constraints and does so uh, in style so time complexity here is also on so linear and space complexity is constant and also we don't modify array so uh, fast, slow pointers. So slow num zero, fast num zero. And now while true, slow num slow and fast will be num uh, num fast. So as you can see, uh, it's quite similar with list uh, and if slow equal fast. Yeah, fast. We have found our, uh, we have found our uh, duplicate. So uh, slow will be num zero otherwise. And while slow not fast, slow num slow and fast will be num fast and return slow. So uh, let's check it if it's uh, working. So yes, all, all good. And uh, this is a really, really nice approach. And we basically yeah treat our array as a list 
uh, and use Floyd cycle detection algorithm. So I think it's my preferred one solution. So let's submit it uh, to verify it's working. So yes, it's working. And interestingly, it's not as fast as I thought. So uh, beating uh, just 36% with respect to runtime and also 31 with respect to uh, memory. So maybe let's uh, resubmit it. So probably even small difference here yeah, uh, in testing cases or something uh, could provide different results. So it was previously 557 milliseconds and now uh, 520 beating 78% with respect to runtime. So uh, good approach to know and also satisfy all uh, constraint of the task. And now binary search technique. So next, we delve into the sophisticated realm of binary search and we will maintain the range 1n and uh, count uh, numbers that fall within subrange, uh, ultimately uh, identifying our duplicate uh, number. And here uh, the space complexity is constant, so 01, but unfortunately time complexity is O n log n as uh, in case of uh, binary search. So binary search low high will be one len num minus one and while low less than high mid low plus high divided by two without remainder count equal zero. So it's classic uh, approach for binary search for num in nums if num less mid count plus one, and if count greater than mid, uh, high will be mid, and else low will be mid plus one. And finally, return low. So let's uh, run it as well to verify it's working. So I think it's uh, yeah it's working, and probably it's the slowest with respect to time complexity. Even the space complexity is constant. Yeah, uh, here we can see significant difference. So it's uh, O n log n time complexity instead of uh, O uh, n so linear. Uh, so yeah, beating just five percent of runtime, but it's more to know uh, rather than uh, yeah, to uh, use in this particular case. And now uh, the last approach, so sorting the array. So last but not least, uh, we will sort uh, to uh, sorting the array and then scanning for duplicates. While this method is uh, effective, it sadly violates the problem constraint. So it's also n uh, log n uh, time complexity due to sorting and we also manipulate array. But let's implement it. So it's quite easy to implement sort num sort and for i in range one to len num, what we do if if num i equal num minus one, return num i and return len num otherwise. So let's uh, run it and see if it's working. So yep, all good, uh, perfect. So uh, let's submit it and see how it goes. So yeah, interestingly, uh, yeah, it took 598 milliseconds beating 20%, but uh, last two approaches, both were n log n. So probably it's due to uh, n log n being implemented in Python a bit faster than uh, binary search uh, approach. So uh, there you have it, uh, all uh, approaches. And uh, yeah, so we have navigated through six uh, diverse solution and each with its uh, own set of uh, merits and caveats. And by the end of today's session, uh, you won't just be able to find the duplicate number you will do it uh, with a deep uh, understanding of the underlying algorithm and uh, trade-offs uh, involved. So uh, 
I hope you uh, like uh, this session and if you uh, like it, please uh, smash the uh, like button and subscribe uh, to our channel for more uh, tutorials, challenges, machine learning, tech and more engaging uh, coding adventure. And remember, the sky is the limit when it comes to coding. So keep learning, keep uh, experimenting and keeping, keep pushing your uh, boundaries. So keep practicing, happy coding and see you next time.